Hey what's up guys, Scamfeef here and welcome to this informed here on review. Obviously I was going to review this guy eventually, I just got some other reviews out of the way first, but you know I had to review the king. But if you want to check out any of the previous reviews, annotations on screen and links in the description below. But anyway, 6 games, 6 goals and 2 assists for the king and I only paid 25k for him and he is going to drop to discard, which is pretty damn nice because I do want a nice cheap one in my cup. I actually would like to pack one, but uh, we'll see. Let's get into a six, uh, six foot two, so he's pretty tall and he can win them headers, which is one thing I do like about him. He's pretty slow, and if I was going to advise him anyway, definitely play him at left forward, just so he can use his finesse a bit more, because his finesse is very, very good. Although, if he did have that on the wing, if he can handle the pace decrease, his crossing and passing in general are very, very good. So going into the in-game stats, as you can see, he's got uh, one thing I do want to pick out there is the reactions. He's quite slow to react. So I don't really agree with that stat at all. And another thing, 79 finishing. His finishing is either very good or not so great. If you're going to shoot with him, finesse. Finesse. Just finesse. Don't go for shot power. Just definitely go for the finesse. Because his shot power isn't that great in game. But his finesse is pretty damn good. And he's got the finesse shot trait, which um, probably helps a bit. And uh, he does score some very nice finesse goals for me. And as you can see also, 4 star, 4 star. So he can shoot with either foot. And obviously he's got a decent amount of skills on him. There's his traits there. Injury prone finesse shot. And the flare trait. So going into in-game stats, uh, the in-game clip, sorry. Um, he does get into some good positions, and as you can see, he's got good base strength. Holds off this down here, stays on his feet, and tucks it around the keeper very nicely with the finesse. As I said, definitely go for the finesse shots. I can't stress that enough. But um, overall, he was very hard to score with, and sometimes it felt like I was like forcing goals out of him because. As I said about the reactions, he's quite slow to react whenever it comes to shooting. This this is probably the best example. He wasn't making the run. I had to pretty much force him to make that run, and he didn't even finish first time. Which um, I just wanted to test his finishing out, so I was trying to get clips for him, and he just wasn't making the run to me, which was really frustrating. But um, eventually, once he got going, he started playing really well, and as you can see here, he scores a great goal with his left foot. How about that for a finish with his weak foot? Good to see. But um, he can make them runs. But um, he just is very slow to react at times, which is quite annoying. Flick the ball through to him here, and look at that left-footed volley. Very, very nice, right in the corner. When he does get into the right positions, he will score you goals, which is good to see. But um, he's not always there, which is a bit frustrating. That could be down to his medium-low work, which are a bit odd. But scores a very nice finesse here. Look at that, sees Buffon off his line, and finishes it in the top corner very, very nicely. As I said, that finesse shot on this guy is pretty lethal. Positive and negative about this guy. His finesse is very good, his dribbling and ball control are good, his strength is a lot more than what his in-game stats actually suggest. His crossing and passing, I haven't spoken about that too much, but um, it's pretty good. And uh, as I say, if you do want to play on left mid, left wing, he has, his crossing is pretty damn good and you will get uh, you will set up some chances with it. But um, it's, that's if you can handle the pace decrease. If you're a pace hard, don't use this guy, you won't like him that much. Negatives, his balance can let him down at times, and his shot power. For someone who I want to be scoring with, his shot power really did let him down. But as I say, make sure you use his finesse. Overall, it saddens me, but I'm going to give Inform Henry a 7.5 out of 10. I'd love to give him a high rating, but I'd rather be honest with you guys. Anyway, that is my review of Inform Thierry Henry. Don't use him if you're a pace or you may not like him as much, but if you can handle the pace degrees, I think you'll have a bit of fun scoring with this guy. But as I said, definitely use that finesse. Anyway, that is my review of Inform on Reef. If you have enjoyed, remember to leave a like, comment below who's like to next. Have a very good day. Adios. And as I said, guys, I have done a few more reviews over the past two days, so if you want to check them out, they're on the screen right now. Make sure you give them a click and check them out. But apart from that, I'll see you around. I'll catch you in the next video.